All right, I'm making this video today to break down how it went on the road last time. Uh, not that good, not that good. I was out three days, and uh, basically I only made $630. I try to make, uh, you know, 300 a day. That's what I figure I'm worth. And um, so I only made 630 But I'll break it down to you. Okay, the first truck... I had to put $180 worth of diesel in the truck. Um, and, you know, it worked out to where, oddly enough, I made $180. So that one wasn't a real hard truck. It was a real nice guy I delivered the truck to. It was kind of like in the middle of the night type delivery. And it was a, a individual he took and uh, bought the truck and Basically, I took it to him. He was so excited. He gave me a cup of coffee. So uh, that was a cool tip. That was awesome. All right, now let's move on to truck number two. Truck number two I ended up picking it up, and um, the thing had three quarters of tank of uh, diesel in it. And uh, in this type of business, that's money in your pocket. So I didn't put nothing in that truck. That was awesome. And I picked that up in Cincinnati, didn't run it very far, and I cleared $350. I keep looking to my right because I made notes this time because somebody asked me a bunch of details and stuff about what I made and everything. And basically, I didn't know the answers because I didn't make notes. So let's roll on to three. All right, number three was a little different. Okay, um, I was dispatched for this truck, and it was through Bennett. And basically... They told me it was a cab and chassis. So that's why I took that truck. It's because it was a cab and chassis. All right, so I had to drive a long-ass way to get to it. And uh, I got up there, grabbed, uh, went to grab the truck, okay? So I pull up, and basically, uh, I got the runaround, finally found the truck, and uh, my nose is itching. All right. So I get up there, I find the truck, I go out there, check the van, walk to the back of the truck, had its giant, huge aluminum lift gate. Some lift gates, you know, I can hook to, but this one right here in particular, uh, couldn't lift it. It couldn't hook, couldn't hook to it. All right, so I call in, I'm like, hey, this thing has a lift gate. And they're like, oh, well, we'll just pay you an attempt. So I'm like, cha-ching, 150 bucks. And they're like, yeah, yeah. So then <laughs> I take and uh, made 150 bucks just for looking at a truck. Um, so basically, uh, I tried to get out of there as quick as I could because there's a blizzard coming to Missouri. And a blizzard in Missouri is not like, you know, up north in North Dakota or whatever. It's like crippling for Missouri. All right, so they're calling for 15 inches plus. And I'm like, damn. So I roll on down there as quick as I can. And I ended up, my car started messing up. The thing started sputtering like the fuel pumps going out of it. Uh, I ended up trying to get off of the highway and the damn car died as I'm going down the ramp. So but pretty much I ended up in the middle of an intersection. So I'm like, this is messed up. So uh, what saved the day on that one was AAA. Um, so that week I made $630 in my pocket pay. Okay, so from there, at the end of my week, it was only three days, you know, short week. Because I try not to stay out long when, you know, all this... Is happening with the snow and everything else so basically I had to get the car towed to a hotel because they wouldn't tow me 80 miles to my home which AAA will pay up to a hundred miles worth of tow and um, the guy wouldn't do it and it really Honestly, I don't blame him because, you know, there's tractor trailers flipped and people crashed and people stuck on I-70. They shut down parts of I-70. In Columbia, Missouri, it snowed 15 inches in a day. 
Uh, Montgomery City, Missouri, it snowed 20 inches in a day. So, needless to say, it um, was a, uh, a sucky event. So, I got towed to uh, Ramada Inn uh, near Lake St. Louis, right off of I-70. And I got towed in there. My battery was dead on my car. My jump pack was dead. So pretty much, I was pretty much screwed. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I went ahead and rented a room for one day. So Ramada, near Lake St. Louis, sucks when it snows. It took them two days to get the parking lot bladed so I could get out of there. So I had to end up renting the room for another day. I got my jump pack charged, I got the car jumped, I got the thing running, and I got home the next day. But here's some of the things that kind of saved my ass. I got stuck in the parking lot, even if it, even after it was bladed, I got stuck in the parking lot. And I pulled out my uh, Vietnam era shovel. I've had this thing since I was a little boy. And a uh, Vietnam vet, matter of fact, gave this to me. Me and my aunt, we walked to a garage sale when I was a little boy, and a Vietnam vet gave that to me, along with uh, a couple of his medals, believe it or not. He said he had no family and stuff, and he gave me some medals and uh, his uh, gas mask bag and a few other things. And I'm like, wow, this vet gave me all this stuff. So I'm going to keep that shovel the rest of my life and until some some jack leg steals it i'm sure but uh here's another thing to save my ass i don't wear these gloves when i hook up but it's called a shooter's mitt on the inside it has a wool glove very very warm guy told me he was in uh the military and uh he had to do work up in the Arctic, and he said that's what he used and uh, kept his hands warm. So I bought a pair. And uh, another thing that saved my ass eventually, once I charged it, is this jump pack. I bought that at Walmart before uh, Christmas. It was on sale for $43. It's not a big one, but I'm using a four-cylinder car, and uh, the thing... Uh, it's pretty much easy to jump start. And uh, what else I got? Oh, this stuff, starting fluid, get it at Walmart. I usually always carry two cans of this stuff with me at all time. Because if I run a truck out of diesel, I may have to start the thing back. And, uh, you know, sometimes they're stubborn. And... One of these days, I'll do a video. I'll run one out of diesel and uh, do a video of how to start a uh, diesel truck in 10 minutes. And uh, I'm pretty proud to say that I'm pretty proficient at starting a, a truck because I ran out of diesel fuel more times than I've count um, and everything. Oh, another thing is uh, bottled water. Always carry bottled water with you. You never know. You might have to put out a fire with it. You might have to drink it. You might have to take a bath in it. You don't know. Bottle of water. Flashlight. Cheap flashlight. I bought those before Christmas. I got like a five pack or ten pack of them. And it was real cheap. Got them. Throw them in the back. Use them when I need them. Gorilla tape. Better than duct tape has a million and a one uses everybody knows what this is use that on placards so uh customer won't bitch at me when i roll that uh paint off their door in a big giant square from the gorilla tape so pretty much i'm not gonna make a lengthy ass video or anything but uh that's pretty much it if you look back here in the back seat and you see my uh I can't zoom in, but uh, you see that backpack? That's my my military grade uh, backpack, and uh, 
when I didn't have a tow vehicle, I put everything in that backpack. And I'm not trying to pretend like I'm military because I've never served in the military. They wouldn't take me in the military because I got flat feet. Oddly enough, back then, they just wouldn't take me. So, um, I like to use a lot of military-grade stuff because it seems like it lasts. You get crap at Walmart, it rips and tears. And I mean, I bought this stocking cap at Walmart. Look at this. Wore it five times. So needless to say, I, I take and I try to get stuff from the Army Surplus and other places. And that's what I like, you know. I have, right now, I got camouflage pants on. Bought them at Walmart. They're insulated. I mean, I got a green hoodie on, black coat, black hat. I'm not pretending. But, uh, well, I think that's about it. Uh, you guys stay safe, stay warm, and keep that left door shut and make that money.